52 out this morning, cool but not as cold as yesterday. A little bit more humidity in the atmosphere. Dew points on its way up at 51, and we've got the southeast winds to thank for that at 7 miles per hour. 40s and 50s across the area. It's a little bit cooler along uh, Highway 281 and points to the west of that. That's where the 40s are. 48 also in Beeville, but everybody else in the mid 50s uh, near the coast. The southeasterly winds coming in are bringing in the humidity and they're calm enough, at least right now, to allow for some of that humidity co to condense as uh, some fog. So it's dense around the Copano Bay. If you've got to use Texas Highway 35 uh, into the Rockport Fulton area and then north of that uh, towards San Antonio Bay, that's where the fog is going to be problematic and that'll be uh, in place for the next two or three hours until about nine o'clock. So use caution uh, specifically on that Texas Highway 35. Uh, if you're traveling up near Rockport and Fulton, we do have some higher altitude cloud coverage overhead and that high pressure feature. We talk about this routinely when they move to the east and get into the northern Gulf. We get the return of southerly winds, humidity and warmth here, and that's exactly what's going to happen today and tomorrow. That high will contrast with another disturbance. This one coming in from the Pacific Northwest that'll render us windy and warm here on Thursday. Temperatures will be very much like spring in the low 80s tomorrow. That cold front comes through Thursday night into Friday morning, dropping temperatures roughly 20 degrees between Thursday and Friday. So it will be cooler on Friday, uh, but not necessarily cold here. The cold front that passes through will then retreat to the north on Saturday, allowing for a quick rebound in temperatures. We'll be back into the 70s on Saturday. The reinforcing front coming in on Super Bowl Sunday. Now uh, that'll keep temperatures close to 70 and provide us with mainly sunny skies. Sunday's going to be a fantastic day uh, if you have any outdoor plans for the big game. 83 Thursday, you see that 20 degree difference or so between Thursday and Friday. Quick rebound Saturday. There's the cold front reinforcing one into Sunday and we may get a stronger one early next week, Tuesday time frame. That one also could give us a shot for some rain, which looks to be like our next meaningful chance for some showers. I wouldn't, you know, sign the check and send it off just yet. We'll have to refine the forecast, but that looks to be the next shot for rain around here. We'll be in the low 50s this morning, mid 70s this afternoon, generally sunny, but we will have some clouds mixed in there tonight. 60s with some inland patchy fog and a south wind around 10 miles per hour. That wind does get stronger tomorrow. We'll be up near 20 miles per hour. Look at all the 80s. It's going to be warm and breezy here on Thursday. There's the cold front coming in overnight into Friday morning. Uh, should be fairly quiet with respect to rain output. There could be a little spritz of a shower, but uh, it's not going to be enough to make things damp and it's going to be very brief, if any at all. 75 today, a few more clouds, definitely more wind than yesterday out of the southeast, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight that wind stays with us and so do the 60s, 62 the overnight low. That southeast wind 10 to 15 miles per hour, 80s Thursday, mid 60s Friday behind the cold front, 75 mostly cloudy Saturday. Sunday, if you have again those outdoor plans, that reinforcing front will clear us up. It'll be sunny with the high of 70. The next shot for rain, not until maybe next Tuesday. John Thomas, Barbie.